Okay, I'm just going to go. Whack chest? What? I got the challenge. That was the first black chest I saw. I don't know even I don't even know what made it appear though, because I thought the black chests were harder to find. Nice. Do they keep on coming? Okay. So, ooh, new bee. Am I safe here? Okay, I got the mage. Easy. Should be over here. Are you kidding me? Hey! The gold armor was still there. Nice. <laughs> that worked out. And this is why Doppelganger is OP. Um, okay, that was the worst possible cycle for me to fall. There's no way I could have known that, though. I literally slipped through, like, every single one of the cracks. Seesaw physics! Too short to jump, I think. Okay, so now we drop down. Doppelganger failed me. He was my bodyguard and he missed his shot. Whew, okay, still lasted long enough. So that only took two tries. That one wasn't too bad. <sighs> Don't mess this up. It's fine. Okay, that's fine. Wasn't ideal, but it should work. Got him! <sighs> okay, that was definitely one of the harder chests. No! Okay, so yeah, that wasn't as tight as I thought it was. And this is going to be... I don't have gold armor, so that's a little scary. Okay, this is just a timer one. It's just zombies? Okay. Well, I was going to say that's not too bad.
Doppelganger's guarding my back. Not anymore. No! Oh, that was so close at the end. You guys probably didn't see it because they were invisible. But to the trained eye such as myself, they were right on me. Bugging me. Honestly, I kind of like the bug part. It's pretty satisfying popping whatever the heck we're popping on the side of this thing. I'm only going to hit it once. Because presumably... The golden armor dagger is stronger than normal. But that time it didn't break it. Okay, whatever. It's fine. We can just wait for the spell again. I could just jump above and just hammer him with the daggers. But we have done this before and it worked. So... Okay, we got him. We did die before the camera shook, but we did kill him. So if the game didn't cheat us out of it, the portal should be there by the bug this time. Okay, drum roll. Will it be there? Good. Uh, that, that's not what the video showed. So I guess it could be one of two things. One second! Or, it's not time, it goes by... I keep thinking it's a timer, but no, it's the amount of enemies I need to defeat. Okay. See how strong the doppelganger is with golden armor crossbow? Because you can cover both sides of the screen, essentially. Very nice. Hey, I just said nice. I wonder if I should keep using crossbow. See, I wonder if lightning would hurt them. I don't know if they're still technically being counted as bosses or not, though. Good. Got him! Nice! Hey, that was good. And I'm a frog, but that is fine. Yeah, it doesn't even need to be level 2. Okay. Three, two, one. I'm good. Okay. I could still die there. Look at that. I would have died there if I got turned into a frog or a turtle instead of a balloon because it wouldn't have lifted me up over that second projectile. Why am I turning so tiny? Okay. Also, these rocks can still kill me. So, yeah, I'm only jumping over them. Actually, let's put armor on just in case. <laughs> okay, so that was definitely one of the more hectic rooms, but not nearly as difficult as Shadow Execution Grounds. I guess I'll just go back up and walk off to the right. Oh, maybe I could use Boulder to make my hurt box wider. It still didn't work. There, okay. I did it on the third one. It worked on the third one. Got it. So now I have to jump off and go back. I'm using dagger this time.
Ooh, I know I just said that it doesn't feel like it's skill reliant at all since Arthur can't attack in that many directions at once, but uh, that was all skill. The last guillotine here on this auto scroller segment, I'm going to have to jump over it when it's lowered all the way. I feel so disgustingly strong right now. It's this one, I think. Yeah. Look how easy that was. Now I have to restart because the, uh, the heck hole is back. It's weird that when I fall in facing left, I'm still facing right. Jumped into that. I did it! Holy... Yeah, so I guess the strat in the end is just to pop off. <laughs> There's literally no strategy beyond that. Just pop off, forehead. Are you kidding me? They tried to assassinate me with that bird afterwards? Grab that bee and get out of here before something else tries to kill me. It's not exploding that. There. What the? There. Okay, I did get him, right? Yeah, okay, because we got the screen shake. So now the portal should be in this same area, but on the left side, so I don't have to go as far in. Okay, so I think it's going to be on the left side up near the top. Yeah, easy. Okay, and according to the video, it said it would just be a bunch of spiders, so frog would probably be good here. I have enough time to cast a spell. Wow, yeah, that was easy. You just go up here and then you can avoid all the, uh, all of the, uh, spits. It's pretty obvious as soon as you come in here that with the curved ground and having already known that it was going to be spiders that they specifically designed it so that way if you stay in the middle, all the spit would pool there. What if you can actually infinitely delay that? Oh, my daggers can't go through these platforms. Another wrench in the cogs of my plan. I could try lightning this time. Might as well. Well, it doesn't break the chest instantly. Okay, here comes the lightning. It worked! You were right, Nick. Finding work. <laughs> the plan of landing on the chest still works.
I would use frog this time. the shield. The shield would actually be really good here. Now that's what you call living off the land. Okay. Don't goof it. Don't goof it. What hit me? What hit me? <laughs> what could have possibly hit me? I destroyed the piranha plant before I landed. Doppelganger did work pretty well, though. Oh! I got resurrected there. <laughs> oh, thank you, resurrection skill. <laughs> that was probably the dumbest interaction of- That was probably the dumbest sequ sequence of events that have happened so far in this game. And I got resurrected right after that. <laughs> uh, okay, so I need to not hit the checkpoint. I almost like, instinctually went for the checkpoint. But, uh... What you need to do is actually get the black chest right here and then jump off the cliff. Because once you get the black chest and beat the guy inside of it, you actually need to go back for the portal. Why was it working? I literally wasn't moving left or right at all, and the dagger was only sometimes hitting as if there was some kind of variant. Okay, there's the black chest. Hey, gold armor. That'll help us defeat the, uh... Alabaster Mage faster. Hey. Dude, he won't know what hit him. Ooh, got him. I can literally use that chest as a platform to jump on. Oh, don't hit it then. Okay, so I'm going to... Uh, jump down there. Doppelganger, do your work. He had a bomb. Curse you. Can I just stay here and wait? Oh, he has a bomb. What am I supposed to do about the bomb, AoE? What am I supposed to do about the bomb's explosion being so giant? I thought, oh, okay, he has a bomb, so I need to immediately attack him, so that way as soon as he throws it, I can detonate it, so that way it explodes as far away from me as possible. And it still hits me! I only had to kill one more, too. That was the last guy. I could still get rezzed. Come on. Come on, game. Rez me. Oh, it worked. I have magic. Who should I attack first? The guy to the right has a bomb. The guy on the left doesn't. I probably don't have time to do doppelganger. I'll immediately attack the guy on the left. Hopefully the cage will come down and protect me if I have to immediately switch to the bomb. I don't think I'm aggroing the cage from here. Okay. Good enough. I still feel completely cheated that you cannot destroy the bomb from far enough away. Okay. Good. This is the best position I've been in. I need to walk forward. Jump over the fire, spawn the chest, 
And then I'll have to frog the enemy on the left side and stand there when I want to attack it. Oh, I can't jump yet. Good. Pop the dop. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's the best ways to the best way to phrase it. The issue though is that if I need to start charging it, I can't charge it right now because it'll wake up the eye to my left. I doubt you can turn the mage to a frog either. Let's just assume that because we've already proven that some enemies are actually our friends and they cannot get turned. Okay. As soon as this thing raises. I'm going to jump and start attacking downwards. Did I get him? I didn't even get hurt. I insta-killed him. I don't even care that I hit an eye. Do my eyes deceive me? Did popping the top work? Popping the dopping. Two whole days for that. Such an unceremonious visual feedback. We will know if it worked. If the hellhole is open. <laughs> Why is the game lagging? The game was chugging for a second. Oh, what? It canceled my doppelganger charge and it just gave me level one. What's going on? I did it. Got it. Okay, so I got the... The bug bees. Bees by the bug. Uh, but I need to get the bug orb as well. Which I can probably still get. So. I had... There's no way I just hit something, right? Spawned in off screen. Oh, did it just happen right now? What the heck? This... I've never played a more cryptic game. You can never figure it out anything. But as soon as you think you figure out how something works, it changes. You. I got you. Yes. Okay, so... Use Doppelganger here. Taking no chances. Got it. Nice. Putting a, putting a marker down. I'm good. Nice. Okay. There is a shadow orb in there, so we're doing everything correctly. 